You know, Mother's Day can be challenging for some people. Maybe you've lost your mother, or maybe you're facing infertility, and the desire to be a mom is painful. We often think of holidays as happy times, but it's not always the case. So today, as we honor moms on, here on PTL, I want to tell you about one mother who used her grief after losing her baby to help others facing the same trauma. Lauren McLean and her husband had three beautiful hours with their first son, Emerson. I cherish them. Every life is a blessing, and his brief little life was such a gift to us. They knew at 20 weeks that Emery had major health problems, but they held out hope. We prayed for the best and we prepared for the worst. I think as a mom, you always hold on to hope and you pray for miracles. Emery is celebrated in so many ways. Balloon releases, birthday parties, and he's remembered through the things they brought home that day. Even the blanket and the hat, the tangible item that I was able to bring home from the hospital really helped me. And we cherish it. We cherish him and our family loves him. And although he's not physically here, he's still a part of us and that love will never be broken. But his memory also lives on in another big way. I basically reached out to all of these bereaved families and said, let's let's create a nonprofit. When you start to talk about it, you realize that there are women sitting next to you at church or at the library that have are carrying this grief and this love. And to be able to share that, I think is just so powerful. It was through the loss that Lauren and other families came together in 2016 to form Still Remembered, a group that helps grieving families after the loss of a baby. There was a whole community of folks um, that came together to say, I wish I would have had this, I wish I would have had this. And our remembrance keepsakes contain a hair cutting kit, a blanket, a journal, a picture frame to encourage pictures. Some of their keepsake kits are sent directly to hospitals, awaiting families who may need them. You've mm -hmm. been there. I mean, you can say, I've walked a mile in your shoes. I know what that's like. I always say that the grief doesn't go away. It just changes. We're peer-based support, so we are not counselors, mm -hmm. but we're moms that have been there. So we understand every everybody's story is different, but we have empathy and compassion um, for those that we serve. Lauren and her husband went on to have four more children. And while she knows Mother's Day can be challenging for moms, she told me this. Express maybe what you need. Maybe that is a balloon release with your family to remember your baby. Maybe that is planting a tree or a special memorial garden. Finding ways um, that comfort you and your family are so important. Wow. What an <laughs> important thing that she is doing. I interviewed her, mm -hmm. I listened to her interview, I helped, I, I wrote the piece, I helped to edit the piece, and every time I listen to her talk about it, I still yeah. tear up. Because it, it's just, she, the, her strength is amazing. Um, in addition to running this nonprofit uh, with the help of such a large community of people, mm -hmm. Lauren is also a hairstylist, and as I mentioned, very busy mom to four children, and she, she really is just so incredible and enjoys celebrating Mother's Day with her family, always keeping Emerson's memory with her. What a special and important story. Heather. Yes. Nice yeah. job. Thank All right. You. So what is coming up the rest of the week? Because we're wrapping it up with a very special one tomorrow. We are. And it's, you know, last but certainly not least, this is my own mom, a single mom who raised two girls. She taught me so much, and I'll share it with you tomorrow. And I, I really wanted to end with her for a couple of reasons, but one, because as we start Nurses Appreciation mm -hmm. Week, she is also a nurse, so I wanted to include her. Yeah, it's going to be special, and I'm looking forward to I it. I hope so.